So, the contempt of the air in the here in the environment is about 21% oxygen and we have only 16% oxygen here. We have 78% uh, nitrogen here and we have about 76 to 77 percent nitrogen here. We use nitrogen too um, a little bit. We use oxygen for sure. But the third gas which is very interesting is, uh, is a carbon dioxide. When we're talking we have a, a lot of carbon dioxide now because we have this problem with carbon dioxide. It's interesting to understand that the carbon dioxide here is only 0 0.04 percent. It's a very low percentage. And in the hundred years it goes up by one hundredth of a percent. From 0 0.03 to 0 0.04. So we actually don't get carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. We get oxygen. But we have a lot of carbon dioxide here. We have actually we have to have about 6.5 percent carbon dioxide to be normal with the old uh, old school physiology <laughs> you see so um, um, but when we hyperventilate we change the uh, the mixture so the mixture in in our small lungs is getting more and more alike the mixture in the big atmosphere of the earth you see so when, the sick, uh, when we get more oxygen, actually a little bit, because we hyperventilate, um, uh, we inhale and exhale more often. Um, so the 16% here of oxygen goes up to 18, and 6.5 goes down to 4.5. So actually, in order to die, we miss only one and a half percent, really. So we go actually, the more air we, we get, now we get, it's a paradox. It's the biggest paradox of physiology, one of the biggest, that people don't understand. They have to really understand that the more air we get in the lungs, the less oxygen we deliver to the cell mm -hmm. the more carbon dioxide we get rid of per in percentage in the lung the less oxygen cell gets released from the bearing uh, um, hemoglobin, molecule. hemoglobin molecules to the cell this is the very very central point the more you breathe in volume and in the depth it's good to breathe to have the deep breathing but you have to understand the word deep refers to the using the diaphragm and not using this uh, um, um, uh, how do you call these muscles to breathe, chest muscles. chest muscles to breathe. That means deep, really, what we are using, um, the word deep, but the most people understand deep breathing as the, the, the big volume. So we we breathing deeply and we feel all of the lungs. When we feel all of the lungs, all of the t every time, we hyperventilate a lot. So, we get sick. Okay? What I don't understand is there are some people uh, who are given pure uh, oxygen yeah. in hospital. Yes, good question. Um, people are never given, uh, if people are given pure oxygen, uh, it's the killer doctor. The doctor is killer, actually. Normally, in the hospitals, they are given the blend, when you, they say pure oxygen, it means the blend of oxygen where the carbon dioxide percentage 
it's uh, is hundred or more than hundred times higher than in the normal air in order to release it so normal the CO2, the CO2. The normally room. they give uh, the CO2 like 10% CO2 or 9% I don't remember oh. precisely so when you refer to the pure oxygen it's always a I blend yeah, where the idea. where the level of uh, oxygen is about 91% or 90% and the level of uh, carbon dioxide is 10 to 9 percent mm -hmm. much higher than in the lungs yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but uh, uh, you know like 30 percent 20 percent higher than in the lungs it has to be normally because something get um, lost in the translation <laughs> but <Okay. laughs> you know you remember this film lost in translation very good film actually but um, um, you see, but it's 100 times higher than in the atmosphere because we need carbon dioxide. Yeah. But this fact is not widely known. So people think they get pure oxygen, they get 100% of oxygen, but they don't. And I think also the, um, they get some nitrogen in it. I, I actually don't remember about nitrogen mm -hmm. because we need nitrogen too. Yeah. When we talk... Um, um, about uh, the gases that we need, our body needs. There's a three. And what we have, the atmosphere, the God make it in a, in a way that we use all the three in order to maintain metabolism and the equilibrium, the balance of all the bodily processes.